start. Let's give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Almighty Heavenly Father, and that's in the name of His Son, Yahweh Shai, our Lord and Savior, and the Holy Spirit, which is the Rakakadash. Double honor to the elders and apostles, a great meal, some for teaching us His truth. Honor to the brothers that's pushing His truth, who is getting their life and freedom to do so. And also honor to the hopeful elect. The one third of our people who's returning back to Yahweh and Yahweh Shai during these final moments in America and throughout the world so that he will have mercy on us during his judgment. Shalom and we'll be back with another lesson to the power of the Holy Spirit. Uh, secondly, let's give all praise and honor and glory again to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for blessing this war war to progress. Now China bucking up that America and Taiwan and most likely about to take action. So all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. The prophecy is coming to fast, coming to pass. We one step closer to America being destroyed. And one step closer to the Lord willing him delivering us out of here. So all praises to the Lord. The destruction, the death of America is getting closer. So off grid desert farmer with Paul. Y'all see the name of his YouTube channel right here. Y'all go subscribe to him. He bring out breaking news, you know, concerning the war with China, Taiwan, Iran, Israel, America, Russia, and anywhere else. He got this stuff covered. I screen recorded quite a few clips. I got three clips here, and we're gonna listen to him and then go through what he said in the scriptures. But let's let this first clip roll. Finish reading this. Russia fully supports China. Y'all hear that? Russia fully supports China. The Kremlin warned the United States today that an expected visit by Taiwan by U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi would put it on a collision course with China and stroke tensions in the region. Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov condemned Pelosi's visit as provocative. He reiterated that Russia understands China's concerns on the issue. So, yeah, Russia understands China. Russia and China make sense. They don't want America right next door to them with their nuclear missiles and their military bases. Let's continue. It stands in solidarity with its eastern neighbor. We stand with our ally, China. We can't say for sure right now whether... She will go there. Well, she's already landed. So uh, she already landed a few hours ago. But everything about this tour and her vi a possible visit to Taiwan is completely provocative. Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov told reporters it was preceded a few minutes before by the support of the representative of the Russian foreign ministry, Maria Zakharnova, who considered the USA solely responsible for the tensions now in Taiwan, Russia expresses its support and solidarity with the People's Republic of China on the sensitive issue of Taiwan. Yeah, so they said America is responsible for the tension between China and Taiwan. So in America, the media just blind you people to what's really going on. The rest of the world, they understand what's going on. For what it is. Americans have chosen the path of conflict and it will not turn out well for them. Yeah, Russia said America chose the path to conflict. It's not going to turn out well for them. They prophesying. Washington is destabilizing the world. Not a single conflict has been settled in recent decades. Yep. They said America is destabilizing the world. Not one conflict has been solved since America has been in power, you know, the last 400 years. That's why Isaiah, uh, I think 13 or 14 reads, he who weakened the nations. When you weaken something, it's to destabilize it. So let's continue. But many have been provoked, said the representative of the Russian diplomacy, Maria Zakhanova, on her Telegram account. At the same time, Iran declared its support for the People's Republic of China. Oh, Iran supports China. 
Iran, Pakistan, Afghanistan, Iraq, that whole Middle East, if you ain't heard, it's tied up with China and Russia and North Korea and the BRICS nations. That includes India, Venezuela, Brazil. Y'all better wake up. Iran now fully supports the one China policy against destructive U.S. unilateralism. You know Iran is against the U.S. So that's what he said, against the U.S. This part, Chinese envoy appreciated Iran's position on the one China policy. It is noteworthy. It is worth noting that by government orders on the Austin Kino TV tower in Moscow is currently writing China. Russia is with you. However, and what did Russia write to China? They said China. Russia is with you. That's more than just support. They gonna help each other. And also, China is donating blood and plasma to Russia. They coordinate. They coordinating their military drills together over there in South America. So they about to take action. That's gonna bring us to our next scripture, Isaiah thirteen and seventeen. Behold, I will stir up the Medes against them, which shall not regard silver, and as for gold, they shall not delight in it. Now let's break down who the Medes is. And to understand who the Medes are, you got to be uh, rehearsed in history. Uh, the prophets, the GMS, the apostle said, to understand the mystery, you got to know the history. And to know the mystery of prophecy, you have to know history of past events. Because all past events are prophecy that came to pass. So prophecy builds on each other. These past events built up to this moment, which will be future prophecy that's coming to pass. That's why they said to know the mystery, you got to know the history. So we're going to get the Medes. So the Medes took down Babylon, you know, in the ancient world. And then Persia started to conquer, you know, part of the Median Empire. So that was known as the Medio Persian Empire. It was sort of like a split empire. And if we look at who the Medes are, the Medes represents the Middle East, Iran, and so forth. And, you know, um, Persia would be Russia, China, and that stuff. That's why when we look at this map here of the ancient Medio Persian Empire, we see the Medes right here next to the Persian Gulf. Let's look at a current map to see what's by the by the Persian Gulf. Persian Gulf, Iran. So Iran, Pakistan, Afghanistan, Iraq, Syria, you know, that's the Middle East. So those would be the Medes. Iran is in this conflict too. Um, you know, against Israel. They back in China. They got an alliance with Russia, an alliance with North Korea. And if you look at the Persian Empire, we see the Caspian Sea. Let's see what's up there by the Caspian Sea. Right here, it's kind of hard to see. But you see we got this area of Russia, this whole yellow area up here. And then the Persian Empire, you know, circled around the Median Empire, around India, and what's over here known as China. And that's what we see right here. The Caspian Sea, the Persian Empire, uh, north of the Medes, and circles around it, even to the side of China. And parts of Persia even conquered these areas, also in the Middle East. So <clears throat> that's the history of the Medes and the Persians. And the Medes are the people who took down Babylon in the ancient Babylonian Empire. And so when it says, let's go back to the scripture. So when it reads, I will stir up the Medes against them, it's literally the Lord stirring up the same people. And it would be the same people, the Middle Eastern, the Iranians, and also the other people who live in those areas. So it's the people of the Medes and the place of the Medes. So the people in that region, this would be the region of people that the Lord will stir up against Babylon once again. And the Medes and the Persians, 
would take down this new Babylon, which is America, once again. So behold, I will stir up the Medes against them. That includes the Persian, the region of the Persian Empire, which would be Russia and China, which shall not regard silver. What's that? Meaning they don't care about money. Because the U.S. started sanctioning the hell out of Russia. What did Russia do? We don't care about your sanctions. We just won't sell oil you in the Russian dollar, in the in American dollar no more. Then Russia started accepting only accepting payments in the Russian ruble, which would be the Russian currency. So they said to hell with your sanctions, we don't care about money. We we'll just accept payment in our former currency. So all the sanctions that America put on Russia backfired. Now we're starting the American economy economy, but the Russian economy is being boosted. So Russia is standing on principles. They don't care about money. They're trying to protect their people from America. They care about national security. So for silver and gold, they should not delight in it. That goes for China as well. China going to stop doing business with America. We know America is the biggest consumer of Chinese goods. So, Amer so China going to stop doing business with America. Why is that? They're not concerned with the money. That's why it says we should not regard silver. As for gold, they should not delight in it. And then we come to Jeremiah 51 and 11. Make bright the arrows, gather the shields. So what does this mean? Get your nuclear forces ready. Gather your army. Because who's the people in the shields, in the armored vehicles, the armored jet fighters, the aircraft carriers? People in military combat, combat, combat gear. That's concerning the armies. Make bright the arrows. That means have your nuclear forces, you know, ready to be fired off. Because how can you make an arrow bright? That's not your traditional bow and arrow. And if you look at a missile, it looks just like an arrow. So meaning have your arrows, your nukes ready to be fired off. That's why they now. Just like Russia, China is mobilizing the entire military, their armed forces, the nuclear forces. The Lord have raised up the spirit of the kings of the Medes. Who are the Medes again? The Iranians, the Middle Eastern, and that region also includes Russia and China. So the Lord raised up the kings of the area of the Medes and the Persians. So again, the Lord hath raised up the spirit of the kings of the Medes, for his device is against Babylon to destroy it. Yeah, because we said previously that the Medes are the people who took down ancient Babylon. Now in that area of the Medes in the Persian Empire, those people are going to take down this new Babylon, which is America, because it is the vengeance of the Lord, the vengeance of his temple. And the hopeful elect, we will be that temple, that spiritual temple. The Lord is going to avenge us on this new Babylon, which is America, for how they tortured us, you know, and destroyed the world. And let's see what else we got. I think we got one more scripture for this section. A couple more. Jeremiah 50 and 9. For lo, I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon an assembly of great nations. From the north country, that assembly of great nations would be the kings of the Medes. And when we go back to this map, the kings of Iran, the Middle East, China, Russia, North Korea. That's the assembly of great nations that the Lord is going to raise up against this new Babylon, which is America. And we've seen it come to pass. They shall set themselves in array against her. Meaning they're going to set themselves in battle formation against this place. Why do you think Iran, China, and the Russian military down there in South America, they about to surround America. Not only that, Russia got the entire naval fleet at sea. Warships and submarines anywhere in the ocean at any given time. So in just a moment, they can have their submarines and warships surround the east and west coast of America and South America already covered because they already down there 
from then she shall be taken. And that's going to be the beginning of the fall of, of America, that she's going to be taken over from the inside. The arrow should be as of a mighty expert man. That's talking about them nukes. None shall return in vain, meaning every nuke that shut off at America is going to hit. Oh, but Obadiah chapter 1 verse 1, the vision of Obadiah. Thus says the Lord, Yahweh Shimi Yahweh Shai, concerning Edom, concerning the white man, you know, more specifically here in America. You know, the Edom, the daughter of Babylon, who are to be destroyed. We have heard a rumor from the Lord, an ambassador is sent among the heathen. Arise ye, and let us rise up against her in battle. Yeah, because that's what the men of the Lord, the ambassadors, that's what we're pushing. That's going to be a great war against Esau, you know, against Babylon. And that's why the scripture says there will be, there will be, uh, there will be, uh, wars and rumors of wars. That's why it says we had heard a rumor. That's that same rumor in Matthew 24, that rumor of war. That's that rumor first being mentioned as a rumor in Obadiah. Verse 2, Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen. Yeah, because they population dropping. Other countries got militaries bigger than the U.S. military now. They got reserves that swamping the American military reserve. They y'all got high-powered nukes, hypersonic nukes. They join in hand in hand, becoming allies with one another. So America is becoming small in terms of numbers and in terms of power. That are greatly greatly despised. That's why it says China, Russia, and Iran are all against America right now. They said America has not resolved a single conflict in hundreds of years. So America is greatly despised. And you people don't know that. Well, we're going to get us to this next clip. According to information, Taiwan has put its anti-aircraft shelters on standby. What's anti-aircraft shelters? That's their bomb shelters. They got shelters in the mountains and the underground where their citizens can go to in case of a war. America ain't really got that. They got it, but not for the citizens. But let's continue. Preparations now include make, marking the shelters where citizens can take shelter in the event of a missile attack from China in underground areas such as parking lots, the subways, and underground malls. The capital of Taipei has more than 4,600 bomb shelters that can accommodate about 12 million people, more than four times its population. So Taiwan got its people completely covered for bomb shelter. America got it, but not for the American people, for the government and the people that's overseeing this new world order. And that's Revelation 6 and 15, sort of. And the kings of the earth, and the great man, and the rich man, and the chief captains, and the mighty man, and every bond man and free man hid themselves in the dens and the rocks of the mountains. That's concerning these underground bunkers, these bomb shelters. What you think the leaders of America, Sloppy Joe, Dr. Fauci gonna do when this war kick off. They just gonna go underground. They ain't gonna tell us people nothing. So y'all not gonna have no covering, no sort of protection. And those countries, they preparing their citizens for a nuclear war. They telling them what to do. They having practice drills. They got the bomb shelters up and running. And American, everybody just la la gagging having drag shows, going about their day-to-day -day living, working overtime, partying every weekend, not having a care in the world, not knowing these countries is making haste to destroy America. And so again, your, your leaders don't care about you. So people that listen to the government, listen to the news, they don't care about y'all. How come these other countries getting their bomb shelters ready? Why ain't, why ain't America having the same preparations for its citizens because they don't care about you. And you're going to find out once martial law hits, the military takeover of America, when they start putting to death millions, and you're going to really find out when the missile's in the sky that your country don't give a damn about you. 
especially you Israelites. So let's continue. And this is really not about Taiwan. This is about stopping China and Russia from dethroning the American petrodollar, folks. What is the petrodollar? It's the reserve currency of the world. If any country want to buy gas and oil, not only from America, but from any other country, they have to buy it in a petrodollar, meaning they would have to take their currency and convert it to U.S. dollars. So they would have to buy the U.S. dollar and then buy the gas and oil with the U.S. dollar they just bought. And you know, for a while, the American dollar was a stronger currency than most. So countries are spending tons of money, you know, to buy U.S. money to buy gas and oil. Russia and China is stopping that. That's why Russia started, stopped accepting payment in U.S. dollars once America started throwing them sanctions on it. They're like, to hell with your dollar. We're just going to tell these countries to buy gas and oil in the ruble. That's the Russian currency. And that boosted Russia's economy while the American economy failed. Not only that, the BRICS nations, Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa. Uh, who else is joining the BRICS? I believe Saudi Arabia, the Middle East, Venezuela, they, Russia and China, is now making their own reserve currency, an international bank, an international currency that all countries can use so they can ditch the U.S. dollar. And this new reserve currency that Russia and China is creating is going to greatly benefit all these other countries so, now, so they're not heavily taxed heavily sanctioned so america is in charge of this new world order america and europe but russia and china is doing the lord's work they combating this new world order they resisting it america is having a hard time bringing the new world order about because of the works of china and russia so the u.s is picking a war with russia and picking a war with china by trying to take over Ukraine and Taiwan to provoke China and Russia to a war because America think with NATO they can take out China and Russia and bring about the new world order and keep the dollar as the reserve currency. They're doing all this just to protect the dollar because the U.S. dollar ain't backed by nothing but the gas and oil you people buy it with. So once people ditch the U.S. dollar, it's not backed by nothing. It's going to collapse. And the new reserve currency that China and Russia is creating is backed by rare earth minerals, gold and other stuff. So it's actually backed up by something that has real value. But let's continue. It's all about keeping the new world order intact. If you have been watching my videos the last couple months, China and Russia now are threatening the United States supremacy, the petrodollar around the world. China and Russia is moving to dethrone the United States dollar as the world's reserve currency. Yeah, because the United States being the petrodollar, the reserve currency is what crowned America, you know, to be the queen of the earth. That queen being Lady Liberty. And that's why when we read Isaiah 47 and 1, come down and sit in the dust, O daughter, virgin of Babylon. Who's that daughter? That's Lady Liberty. Sit on the ground. What does it mean to come down? To come down, that means you first got to be up high. So America is coming down as all these countries ditch the dollar inside with Russia and China. Then as you come down, America coming down from her throne, she eventually going to sit on the ground. And what proves it is the next next part sit on the ground there is no throne so russia and china is trying to dethrone america by collapsing the petrodollar so lady liberty the queen of america not gonna be a queen for much longer she's about to fall the united states cannot allow this to happen they've got to take china out now they've got to take russia out now otherwise our monetary system will be destroyed. 
So that is why we're provoking this war with China right now. It's not really over Taiwan. It's over preventing China and Russia from getting countries to join the BRICS organization. Because China is setting up their own international bank. China is setting up their own, own financial institutions to bypass the American dollar. They're setting up their own SWIFT financial system, inviting countries like Egypt, Turkey, Brazil, all the countries of the world to join their BRICS and to drop the American petrodollar. This is what it's all about, folks, preserving our money. So we provoke this fight. I do believe that we wanted to confront China now and not be surprised in a couple months while we have all of our forces into place, folks. We plan this provocation with Nancy Pelosi, just like we plan the provocation with Russia in Ukraine, folks. We plan both of those wars. They are going, going according to plan. Now, will the United States be able to take China out Will we be able to defeat Russia? Folks, we're going to find out. But I don't think we're, we are. Because there has been many prophecies the last 40 to 50 years that China and Russia nuke the United States and destroy our country with a surprise nuclear attack. This could be just days away. So let's go on to another article. I want to... And that prophecy, China and Russia nuke in America... Night ain't just 50 years old. That's some Edomites that came up with that, that took it from the scriptures. The scriptures prophesied America being destroyed with nukes before the earth was created thousands and thousands of years ago, which we're going to get into that tomorrow. But America is going to fall before its destruction by the hand of Russia, who's coming up against the New World Order, who's coming up against the petrodollar. That's why Isaiah. 30 and 3 reads, Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame, and the trust in the shadow of Egypt your confusion. What's the strength of Pharaoh? Who is Pharaoh? Pharaoh would be the president or the ruler of America. So what gives the president, what gives America her strength? It would be the dollar. That's the spirit. They got the phrase, the strength of the dollar. Or they might say, the dollar is stronger than most currencies. Referring to the dollar as having different levels of strength. So the strength of Pharaoh, the dollar, is going to be the shame of you people who trust in it. Because Russia is bringing it down pretty fast. And the trust in the shadow of Egypt, your confusion, that would be concerning the government. A shadow you know it's there, but you can't see it. That would be the people who call the shots for America. They're going to lead you people to your destruction while they are underground in their bomb shelters and underground bunkers. But that's a little bit of the news here. World War Three update number 15. Until next time, Shalom.